This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits. This is accessible through our online course modules that can be accessed at www.emergencymedicalminute.org backslash CME dash courses, or simply by clicking on the link in our show notes and creating an account. All right, well, good morning, everybody. So I was going to talk about uh, tramadol briefly. So, you know, tramadol is considered a pain medication, and it's a little bit of an interesting medication. And there was a recent study that I'll talk about in a second, but a little bit of background on tramadol. So the reason people prescribe it sometimes is because they think that it's a mild opiate and that it's maybe safer than some of the other opiates. So sometimes they'll give it to people who are at uh, risk of getting other opiates because they're old or frail, or maybe they have opiate addictions and they're worried that maybe tramadol will be safer. So there's a couple of issues as a background. First thing is with the pharmacology of how tramadol works, it has to be metabolized into an active drug. The, just the tramadol itself doesn't do anything. But to metabolize it into the effective drug, about anywhere between 3 and 10% of the population can't metabolize it. So for a certain number of people, like 5 to 10%, it does nothing because they can't metabolize it into an active drug. So it's a total waste for those people. Then there's another group of people that are kind of ultra metabolizers and that they kind of metabolize it and becomes way too much of a drug. So it can be you know, potentially dangerous for them. So it's not reliable in its pharmacology. And then a couple things in terms of how effective is it actually, there's been several studies that have shown that it's really not particularly better than either Tylenol or ibuprofen. So it doesn't really have a lot of benefit over over the counter pain medications. And then there's a lot of side effects. So, you know, one of the things is that it can lower your seizure threshold. People can end up having seizures either in overdose or even in regular amounts. So that's a problem. Uh, another problem is that it can affect the same pathway as the, uh, the serotonergic pathway. So it's actually like a little bit of a serotonin reuptake inhibitor. So people can get serotonin syndrome from being on tramadol and some other medications. So it does definitely have some side effects. And then there's been a couple studies, including the one I was gonna briefly talk about recently, showing that tramadol has an association with increased mortality. There was a good study that just came out recently looking at tramadol compared to codeine. And this was done in a big European population. And over a one year period, the mortality of all causes, not necessarily directly from taking the drug, but overall was about twice as high in the people who were given tramadol compared to codeine. They don't know exactly why, but there's been other studies that have shown an increase in mortality when tramadol is compared to certain NSAIDs like naproxen or diclofenac. And then the people who got the tramadol compared to codeine had more falls, more cardiac effects, more, uh, and even more likely to be actually addicted to opiates after the study was over. So overall, you know, I think tramadol is a potentially very bad drug. A lot of times people will say, oh, you know, if you won't prescribe me, you know, Vicodin, can you give me some tramadol just because they think it's something or some older people ask for it. But in general, I try and avoid it. We should probably try and avoid it, caution people if they are on it, that it does have a lot of side effects. And it's probably not this, you know, just harmless, benign opiate. Any questions? Thanks, guys. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.